Hello everyone, and welcome to English Notes, where we make learning English enjoyable and straightforward. I'm thrilled to guide you on this exciting journey, so let's dive right into today's lesson and broaden our perspectives together. Why is reading important? Speaking English fluently and confidently in just four months, is it possible? Can you truly master the language in such a short time? The answer is a resounding yes. Let's explore what fluency really means and how you can achieve it. First, let's break down the term fluency. The word has roots that suggest smoothness and flow, much like a river gliding effortlessly. When we think of English fluency, we envision a seamless expression of words, phrases, and sentences. It's the ability to communicate naturally, without hesitation or stumbling over your words. Conversely, a lack of fluency can manifest as awkward pauses and interruptions, which can disrupt the flow of conversation. Fluency is primarily about speaking. When we refer to fluency, we focus on how smoothly your words come out. The essence of fluency is that words flow easily, similar to water. It's crucial to remember that being fluent doesn't mean you must be perfect. Everyone makes mistakes, including myself. What matters is that you communicate effectively and confidently. Fluency doesn't mean native-like proficiency. When we say you can be fluent in five months, it doesn't imply you'll speak like a native. That level of mastery takes years of immersion in the language. Instead, fluency means you can hold everyday conversations comfortably. You'll need a vocabulary of around 3,500 to 4,000 words, which is quite manageable. With this vocabulary, you can discuss daily topics like the weather, your plans, or even casual chit-chat without feeling stuck. But remember, achieving fluency is just the beginning. If you aim to sound like a native speaker, there's still a long path ahead. The good news is that you can certainly reach conversational fluency within six months. The path to fluency in five months. So, what does it mean to achieve fluency in five months? Instead of measuring time in months, think in terms of hours. Let's consider two learners. One practices English for just one hour each week, while the other dedicates 14 hours every day. The progress between these two will be drastically different. To be conversationally fluent, most learners should aim for about 600 hours of focused practice. However, everyone's journey is unique. Some might need more hours, while others may require less. What's crucial is the combination of quantity, how many hours you practice, and quality, how effectively you use that time. Quality matters, having the right approach is essential. For example, if you spent 800 hours in a classroom, but the methods were unengaging and repetitive, those hours wouldn't contribute much to your fluency. Instead, you need to maximize your learning time with engaging and effective methods. Let's delve into what constitutes high quality learning. Focus. Be fully present during your study sessions. Avoid distractions so that every minute counts. Comprehension. Ensure you understand what you're learning. If you're struggling with complex materials, you won't gain much. Aim for content that challenges you but is still comprehensible. Emotion. Learning with passion makes a difference. Whether it's excitement, humor, or even a bit of drama, 
Emotional engagement helps reinforce memory. An example of effective learning, consider the word embrace. A traditional method might involve looking it up in a dictionary, writing the definition, and memorizing it, which can be quite dull. Now imagine a scenario where you're at a gathering, and someone you admire approaches you, expressing a desire to embrace you. The excitement of that moment would make the word unforgettable. Right, this illustrates how emotionally charged experiences lead to better retention than conventional memorization. Train like a champion, think of learning English as a sport. Just like an athlete trains rigorously to achieve their best, you should approach language learning with the same mindset. For instance, a dedicated martial artist may train every day with intense focus, while most people might only practice a few times a week. The difference in results is stark to excel in English. Immerse yourself in high-quality practice daily. You can become a champion speaker by committing to this process, pushing yourself beyond your limits, and maintaining that high level of energy and focus. Believe in yourself. Finally, never let anyone discourage you. There will always be naysayers who insist you can't achieve your goals. Ignore them. Remember that true champions rise above negativity. I'm here to support you, not just as a teacher, but as your coach. I want to inspire you to believe in your potential and encourage you to dream big. You can master English. Stay confident, and remember that while the journey may have its challenges, you possess the strength to overcome them. Embrace this mindset, practice diligently, and you'll speak English fluently in five months, maybe even sooner. Thank you for joining me today on English Notes. If you found this lesson valuable, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content.